This video is brought to you by Apex Gaming PCs. If you're looking for a new computer to get into DCS, check out Apex Gaming PCs. This is where I got my laptop. A great place to customize a computer for yourself in any way you like that fits your budget. And you can now use Affirm so you can pay month to month so it doesn't hurt your wallet. So don't forget to check out Apex Gaming PCs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing one of your guys' ideas. We have Jets Corp, who dropped a comment on a recent video. Apparently, when the F-16A first came out, the Salt and France were extremely annoyed that it was getting so many sales in Europe compared to the F-1. Yeah, the Viper did flashy dogfight stuff, but it had no radar-guided missiles, so they went and designed the Mirage 2000 to match the Viper in within visual range and continued to beat it in BVR. Then the AIM-120 and the C-Model happened, and suddenly the Viper was actually a world beating monster. So I guess what I'm saying is I'd like to see what a Mirage F1 with full armament can do against the Viper rocking AIM 9L only in a BVR setup. Were the salt right or were they just salty? I think it's a great question. Let's go ahead and find out. Uh, so what I've taken is we have the F-16 with the AIM 9Ls on it and we're going to go ahead and take on the Mirage F-1 with its full armament for BVR. So once again, a big thank you to Jets Corp for his idea, his suggestion for today's video. Let's go ahead and get started and see how it plays out. Alright guys, here we are in the F-16. Uh, we have the AIM 9 Sidewinder Ls. And we have a Mirage F1 off the nose. Obviously, that means I have no BVR missiles, which means I have to go to the merge against the Mirage in order to kill him, which means I need to survive the initial volley of Fox 1's Super 530Ds that he's going to be shooting at me. And I'm going to go ahead and lock him up here. I am not using the helmet mounted sight because technically that wasn't there at the time. So we're going to have to make do without that. Now the F-16A, uh, we don't have that in the sim, so we're just using the F-16C. The radar would have been not as good as the C, of course, but I figure that doesn't really matter because we're not shooting any missiles with BVR capability anyway, no Fox 1, Fox 3, anything like that. So it doesn't really matter how good the radar is. Uh, it's fine for simulating what we want. The F-16A would have been even better and more maneuverable than the C. So. In the merge, it would have been even more of a monster than you're going to see here today, I think. Oh, missile launch. We're going to go ahead and break. Change altitude. Change... Oh, oh, we broke it. Okay, we broke the lock. There you go. We broke his lock. I still have a lock. I can see him way up there. He's got another Fox 1 though, I think, if he can find me. But he's got to look down, shoot down, and that's going to be hard for the Mirage. With that MTI radar, the moving target indicator, or indication. Oh, he's got me locked again. What's going to... Oh, Fox 1, very close, and that'll miss. We're merged. We're going vertical. Pretty significant disadvantage there, and now I'm at an advantage. Now we're merged, and he's in big shit now. Get that lock. Locked. Tone. Now the, the AIM-9L is not a very good missile, a very rear aspect. It really needs to see that big juicy engine to hit it. Uh, luckily for us, that's not a problem when fighting the Mirage F1. That missile will miss, but look at him now, he's slow. Having done all those maneuvers there. Fox 2, and that'll hit him. That, uh, yep, there we go. Splash 1, Mirage F1. Well, that's first round. Can we do it again, or was it just luck? Let's do another round and find out.
So I think one of the biggest weaknesses for the Mirage is its MTI radar. Uh, its inability to really hold the lock once the bandit starts to change a lot of altitude and aspect and things like that. Um, I'm just going to keep cranking them left and right and see if we can get to the merge without even being shot at. You know, so he can't even take one shot at me. And this is why countries will try to keep their aircraft super classified and stop them from falling into the hands of the enemy. Because as soon as you know the fault of that aircraft and what its problems are and its weaknesses, you can exploit it exactly like this to make it even easier to kill. Right? And even your, your country's aircraft, which may be at a disadvantage, uh, may be able to flip and take an advantage once you know the other guy's weakness right uh, which is kind of what's happening here because I still don't have him locking me up or shooting a Fox 1 uh, you hear that tone that's just the sun that's the sidewinder seeing the sun uh, and we're getting pretty close here we're at 14 miles now he's in big trouble if he doesn't see me because if it's this easy for me to get to the merge to him, he's going to be in big trouble. If that was an F-15 and he had me locked on radar firing Sparrow missiles at me, I think this would be a very different story for the F-16. Uh, where is he? He's eight miles. There he is. That box. Right there where the diamond's showing you. But that's our guy. Fox 2. It didn't track, unfortunately, that Fox 2 went for the sun, but he saw the, the smoke trail. And I don't know if he knows he merged. He doesn't know he merged. Oh, yeah, he does. There we go. He saw me turn across his tail now. Poor guy. He never even got to shoot those Fox 1s. Now they're just extra weight for him. Taking them two circle. There he goes. We're not in a rush. It's only a matter of time before the F-16 outrates him. Come on. Give me a lock, bud. There we go. All right. We're pretty fast, so we're going to pull the throttle, let the aircraft slow down a little, tighten up our turn radius, and on to six. Box two. Oh, we tracked. <laughs> okay, there we go. Splash one, Mirage F-1. That was my last Fox two. And uh, that's two for two for the F-16 so far. Maybe it's not luck. Well, I figured we could do a round with me in the Mirage F1 to see what it's like from this perspective. I uh, just got to go ahead and faster arm on, set the aircraft up to jettison, and we'll see if it really is as hard as it seems to kill the F-16, at least from this side. Let's go ahead and jettison this tank. Okay. And we got our Super 530 selected. Let's go ahead and turn on these lights here. And we'll put the radar to 30, azimuth, uh, azimuth 30 here. See if we can find them on radar a little bit quicker. Now, we've talked about these radars in the past, the MTIs, moving target indicators, indications. Uh, there he is on radar, by the way. He's right there. Uh, these things are very much like Doppler, but even worse than that, they see relative movement, and there's a lot of clutter. Uh, which is what you see those little dots at. So I'm having trouble locking them up. There we go. We got him. Fox 1. Wanted to shoot that almost immediately. Because we're already pretty close. Might be outside of range, but I want to get him defending. And look at that. He reduced his altitude or aspect and he broke the lock. Fox 1 again.
And that's fine. Those Fox 1s, he can easily break the lock on them. There he is. I can actually see him. So we're going to switch to um, the Magic 2s. There we go. Fox 2. He's got a missile off, but that's not tracking. Fox 2 again from me. And I think he survived everything I shot at him. So he survived all four missiles. And there he goes. He just turns across my tail. So I'm now merged with an F-16. That was uh, somebody's missile exploding above our heads. Uh, not only are we merged with an F-16, we are in a two-circle on the deck. So this is very, very bad. And to be honest, short of him losing visual of me, I'm not sure how I can win. Let's see if we can get a one-circle going. Is that possible? No, he slotted in on my six nicely. <laughs> Overshoot is the only thing I can try to do. He has... No, he's managing his closure fantastically. He's got zero knots of closure. <laughs> he's just sitting back there. Uh, I wish there was a white flag I could raise. Ow. Ow. Oh. Oh. Alright boys, we're going down. I don't think there's much else we can do. She's barely flying here for me. <laughs> 